Pluto's weird orbit was always going to cause problems. It actually crosses Neptune's. This small, icy world way out in our solar system is a hot topic these days. Some scientists think it might crash into Neptune. Big names like Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku are worried about what might happen. So, how did Pluto get on this collision course, and what would it mean for us if it actually hit Neptune? Pluto used to be a real planet, but then it got demoted to dwarf planet because its orbit is so strange. But even though it's not a full-fledged planet, Pluto is still fascinating. Recently, Tyson and Kaku have warned that Pluto's path could cross Neptune's, posing a crash risk with bad results for Earth. Pluto's trip around the Sun is really long, 248 years. Since we found it in 1930, it hasn't even made one full circle. Plus, its orbit isn't round like most planets, it's more like an oval. And it's tilted, too, at 17 degrees compared to the other planets. The crazy thing is that Pluto's orbit crosses Neptune's every 20 years. Pluto actually gets closer to the Sun than Neptune does during that time, which is weird. Its orbit is definitely not a circle. It's an ellipse, so its distance from the Sun changes a lot. At its closest, it's about 30 astronomical units away. At its farthest, it's over 49 astronomical units, almost twice as far as Neptune. Also, Pluto's orbit is tilted compared to the other planets. This tilt has a big part in how Pluto and Neptune mess with each other. When their paths cross, their gravity tugs at each other, slowly changing their routes. It shows how everything in the solar system is linked. Planets pull on each other. With better telescopes, we can track Pluto's movements more precisely. This helps us understand its orbit and how it affects the rest of the solar system. Even though a direct hit from Pluto is not likely, scientists are still watching closely because the results could be huge. Even though Pluto is small and far away, it's still super interesting to scientists and space fans. Why hasn't Pluto crashed into Neptune yet? It's because of the gravity from all the other planets. Ever since we first saw Pluto, astronomers have been trying to figure out its path. Unlike most planets that stay on a flat plane, Pluto's orbit is tilted and oval-shaped. Even though it looks like Pluto crosses Neptune's path, it actually stays pretty stable, which is amazing. It's tough for scientists to figure out how Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun interact. To predict their movements, you have to understand how each one influences the others. Scientists use some math things to help them solve this puzzle. These math things help keep planetary orbits stable. When Pluto passes Neptune's path, it stays far enough away to avoid crashing. When Pluto gets close to Neptune or other major planets, it stays above their path, which lowers the crash risk. There's also something ensuring that Pluto's orbit stays stable over time, even though it looks weird. Even though space looks chaotic, some patterns help keep things in order. That's why Pluto doesn't hit Neptune or change its orbit much. Even little changes in Pluto's position or speed could majorly change its orbit in the long run. Scientists use computers to make simulations of Pluto's interactions with Neptune and see what would happen if there were small changes to its path. In the late 1980s, they found something cool. Even though Pluto's orbit is pretty stable, it can still act a little random. A tiny change could cause big shifts later on. But even with those uncertainties, Pluto's orbit stays stable for billions of years, which suggests there's some underlying order there. Because planetary orbits like Pluto's can be kind of random, it's hard to know what will happen in the long run. The computer models need really precise data, or the results will be way off. It's important to understand Pluto's orbit, especially when we think about a possible crash with Neptune. It helps us understand how the solar system works. Pluto's orbit shows that even paths that look chaotic can find a balance because of gravity. We need to keep watching and learning to get a better understanding of our place in the universe. Pluto's orbit is a great example of how wild space can be. Its orbit is weird, and it makes it hard to guess what will happen. But gravity keeps Pluto and Neptune apart most of the time. It's a balancing act. A crash between Pluto and Neptune, while not likely, would be a huge event. It would change how we understand the solar system. Space watching has come a long way, 
but Pluto's orbit shows us that there's still a lot we don't know. Scientists keep studying Pluto's path to figure out how big planets affect its movement. This is important to figure out how everything in space is connected and how their movements can impact each other. Even though Pluto's orbit is weird, some smart scientists like Neil deGrasse Tyson have said that Pluto could hit Neptune someday. Tyson thinks that calling Pluto a dwarf planet was the right thing to do. He says that Pluto's orbit proves that we still have a lot to learn about space. Tyson says that the mysteries of space are what makes science amazing, and he wants more people to get excited about how space works. Tyson is worried about Pluto's path. If Pluto and Neptune crashed, it could be really bad for the solar system. There would be a massive explosion, and debris would fly everywhere, maybe hitting other planets and moons. Neptune's orbit would change, making the outer solar system even more confusing. Michio Kaku, a theoretical physicist, also has some thoughts about space watching. Kaku thinks that studying things like Pluto's orbit is key to understanding space. He says that studying how Pluto and Neptune interact can help us plan for future space trips. Kaku also says that it's important to understand gravity because it can affect how we explore other planets. Kaku's work could connect to Pluto's orbit. A crash between Pluto and Neptune could give scientists data that would help verify the theory, although it would barely impact Earth. The unpredictability becomes clear when scientists explore space. Studying things like the gravity relationship between Pluto and Neptune helps us understand how the universe works on a base level. We need to keep an eye on these things to better understand the solar system. The gravitational dance between Pluto and Neptune shows that even plants far away can change stuff. These planets pull on each other, and over time, that shapes their orbits. A crash is not probable, but it cannot be ruled out. Scientists believe that understanding these could allow them to predict and prevent these events. Random interactions can lead to stable, predictable patterns. Specifically in the case of Pluto, whose orbit might appear erratic but is actually governed by precise gravitational forces. The gravitational pull of other planets keeps Pluto steady, though complex course. As scientists continue to study the unique characteristics of Pluto's orbit, they also look toward other areas of space. The study of the TRAPPIST-1 system, which contains multiple Earth-sized planets, helps the astronomers learn how gravity makes changes. Astronomers also focus on planets that wander through space without being bound to a star. Pluto's orbit was always going to be a bit of a problem. It crosses Neptune's path, you see. Pluto, that small and mysterious planet way out in the solar system, is causing some worry in astronomy circles. Some folks are saying it might actually hit Neptune. Big names like Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku are a little concerned about what might happen if these two crash. So, how did Pluto get on this collision course, and what would a smash-up mean for us here on Earth? Let's look at why this whole thing is making scientists nervous. Pluto used to be a proper planet, but then they changed its mind and called it a dwarf planet because its orbit is so weird. Even so, Pluto's still interesting. These warnings about a possible Neptune collision are a bit alarming, given the potential mess it could cause for our planet. Pluto's trip around the sun is something else. It takes 248 years just to make one orbit. Since its discovery in 1930, it hasn't even made it all the way around once. The orbit isn't a circle either, it's more of an oval. Plus, it's tilted at a weird angle compared to the other planets. What's really interesting is that Pluto's orbit crosses Neptune's every 20 years. Pluto actually gets closer to the sun than Neptune does, which is not what you'd expect. It's not a perfect circle either, it's an oval. At its closest, it's about 30 astronomical units from the sun, and at its farthest, it's over 49, almost twice as far as Neptune. The tilt of Pluto's orbit is important. When their orbits cross, their gravity tugs at each other, slowly changing their paths a bit. It shows how everything in the solar system affects everything else. With better telescopes, we can track Pluto better and understand its orbit and how it affects the solar system. A direct hit is unlikely, but people are still watching closely because the effects could be huge. Why hasn't Pluto hit Neptune already? Gravity from other planets 
Even back when Pluto was first spotted, people knew its orbit was odd. Most planets stay on a pretty flat plane, but Pluto's is tilted and oval-shaped. It crosses Neptune's path, but it's still pretty stable. Space is complicated. Figuring out how Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun interact is tricky. Predicting where they will be involves knowing how they each pull on each other. Scientists use complicated math to figure this out, which keeps Pluto from crashing into Neptune or messing up its orbit too much. Even though space looks messy, there are rules that keep things in order and stop Pluto from smashing into Neptune or changing its orbit too much. Even small changes to where Pluto is or how fast it's going can make a big difference over time. Scientists use computers to see what would happen if Pluto and Neptune interacted. In the late 80s, they spotted something cool. Pluto's orbit is usually pretty steady, but it can act a little unpredictable sometimes. But even with those changes, Pluto's orbit stays steady for billions of years. It's hard to say for sure what will happen with Pluto's orbit way down the line. You need really exact info to make these models work. Understanding Pluto's orbit is important, especially if we're thinking about a future crash with Neptune. It shows how the solar system works. Pluto's orbit is a good example of how things that look random can actually balance out. So we need to keep studying these things. Pluto's orbit is different from all the other planets. Its oval shape means it could run into Neptune. Predicting what will happen over time is hard. Gravity is what keeps Pluto and Neptune from hitting too often. It's all about balance. Even though a crash between Pluto and Neptune is not likely, it would change everything we know about the solar system. We still have a lot to learn, and Pluto's orbit is a reminder of that. Scientists are still figuring out the pull of the big planets on Pluto. Some smart people, like Neil deGrasse Tyson, have guessed that Pluto could hit Neptune someday. Tyson thinks calling Pluto a dwarf planet was the right move. He thinks Pluto's weird orbit means we still have a ton to learn about space. Tyson and others worry about Pluto's path. If Pluto and Neptune did crash, it could mess up the solar system big time. The energy would be huge, and stuff would fly everywhere, hitting other planets and moons. Neptune's orbit could even change. Michio Kaku also says that studying Pluto's orbit helps us understand space better. He thinks learning how Pluto and Neptune interact can help us on future space trips. Kaku also talks about how important gravity is for space exploration. His thoughts connect with his interest in Pluto's orbit. It wouldn't hurt Earth much, but it would let us study how gravity works in tricky situations. When scientists keep looking at space, they see that planets can act in ways that are hard to guess. These studies show how things far away can still affect each other. Even though it's not likely, scientists are still watching, just in case. One cool thing is that things that look random can actually make steady patterns. Pluto's orbit looks all over the place, but it's following gravity. That stops it from hitting Neptune, even though they cross paths. As we learn about Pluto, we're also looking at other stuff in space. Like systems with lots of Earth-sized planets because gravity can sometimes make a planet's path unstable. And scientists study planets that float around without a star.